So this is another example of how to use the law of signs to solve a problem. Um, this one says a tracking satellite, or is about tracking a satellite, and it says the path of a satellite orbiting the Earth causes it to pass directly over two tracking stations, A and B, which are 50 miles apart. When the satellite is on one side of the two stations, the angles of elevation at A and B are measured to be 87.0 degrees and 84.0 degrees, respectively. How far is the satellite from station A, and how, how high is the satellite above the ground? So what I want to do is I'm going to actually draw this figure as a triangle. I'm going to draw it a little bit bigger so that we can um, at least have some room to write some stuff in there. And so there's our triangle. And we have a couple of uh, values here. For example, this value is 87 degrees. This value is 84.2 degrees. Oops. And then this distance is 50 miles. So <clears throat> with this being 87 degrees, we can figure out this angle here by doing 180 minus 87, and that would give me 93 degrees. And then I can use that information to get this angle. So 93 plus 84.2 is 177, so 180 minus 177.2 is 2.8. So this angle here, this very small angle, is 2.8 degrees. Now, if I figure out this distance, that is the distance away from satellite A, because up here is a satellite, we'll call that point C. And so in order to use law of cosines, or law of sines, I'm sorry, I'm going to say sine of 84.2 over x equals sine of 2.8 over 50. If I cross multi multiply, I get x sine of 2.8 equals 50 sine 84.2. And then when I divide both sides by sine of 2.8, I get x equals 50 sine 84.2 over sine of 2.8. If I type that into my calculator, I get 1,018 miles, round to the nearest mile. So that would be this distance here, 1,018. And that's how far away it is from satellite A, so 1,018 miles is the distance. Now, the second thing is how high is the satellite above the ground? Now, in order to do this, I'm going to change colors here real quickly. I'm just going to bring a line straight down and make it 90 degrees, and we'll have to figure out this side right here. Now, I'll call it Y because that would be the height above the ground. And the nice thing about this is it's a right triangle. Right triangle means we can use Sokotoa. I know the hypotenuse, I want to find the side opposite, and so I'm going to use sine of 87 equals y over 1018. If I multiply both sides by 1018, I get y equals 1018 sine 87, and if I type that in, I get 1,016.6 miles. And so that's how far this is, 1,016.6 miles. And that's how we do problem number 31.